how does an electronic fire pit work? So the primary thing, you have the gas coming in here. So you have a gas source and then you have an electrical source as well. So the gas is going to stop here until we activate power to turn this on. Once we turn the power on, it's going to release a small amount of gas through the pilot assembly. So this is where a lot of your safety features are. So once we turn on power, a small amount of gas is going to come out of here and there's a glow plug igniter that's going to glow red hot. So most companies have gone toward a glow plug igniter because it's a lot more reliable um, than your old spark igniters when it comes to pilots, especially in outdoor applications. So power on, gas on, the pilot flame is going to light itself. Once it senses there's a flame, there's a flame sensor in here, that's going to send a signal back down to the control module, which will then open up the main gas valve, gas will come out of your burner, and then the pilot will ignite that main burner and the gas there. To take a closer look at the components here, so your main gas line comes in through here. Uh, this system here is using a solenoid valve to open and close that. So you're going to have one for your pilot and then one for your main gas feed. And then over here, this is uncovered. Normally this would be in a covered box uh, that's, that's taken off though, so you can see, but this is our con electronic control module. So that's what's going to sense that there's a flame and send the signals to the gas valve to open and close. It's going to also send the signal um, to start the igniter. And we'll take a closer look at that pilot and, and what that looks like as well. So you have your main gas coming in, it's sending a signal, turn on power, sends a signal for the pilot to start. We get gas released to the pilot, you'll hear a click. And uh, once that pilot flame is recognized, our main valve opens and sends gas up here through the main burner and the pilot will ignite that. So this one also has a transformer built into it so that it can plug into an outlet. Um, most fire pits don't actually run off 120 volts. Like this control board is not a 120 control board. So this one conveniently has a transformer built into it so that it can just plug into an outlet. But if you're going to hardwire, it's just going to have pigtails coming off instead and you can locate that transformer more upstream. So part of the safety features here is with that flame sensor, this pilot stays on. And if the flame were to shut off, it's going to try to relight. But if it can't relight after so many attempts, it's just going to shut off all the gas and power. So if it was unattended and a big gust of wind came through or there was a storm, it's going to safely shut down if it needs to.